Hey, Tiny Dream Team. We are here at Winter Haven RV in Lake Wales, Florida. We are in Wales, so we are showing you the lot of luxury. This is a very nice home. It is an RV park model. This is a Florida RV park model. Some of you guys get all legalistic about definitions. Well, Florida definitions are different. This RV park model is 499 square feet. Why is it different in Florida? These homes go in a lot of the senior living communities, okay? Down around Sarasota, Fort Myers, places like that. So they make them bigger. They make them so you can live in them. They make them with lots of storage. Now this home's got a couple surprises. You gotta watch to the end to get the price and the surprises, so hang in. If you like this kind of content, Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. You're watching Mr. Chubby. I'm not Mr. Tiny. Eight foot tall and big around as my pinky. I'm Mr. Chubby. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is a Chariot Eagle home, okay? We've been to their or I, we've been to their facility where they make these, okay? You can watch that video where we did a factory tour. You can watch videos where we toured some of their park, their park models on their lot in Ocala, Florida. But this is at Winter Haven RV. Come see Miss Tawana Krause. There's their business card. And we are going to put all the information in the description. And we'll take a picture of their business card, of her business card. And we will put it on our community page. So if you have any questions about these homes, contact her. Now, they deliver here in Florida and do the setups and things. But if you're interested in this exact home and you live in Florida... Give her a call. If you're interested in this type of home and you want one, but you're not in Florida, you're gonna have to talk to her and she can arrange it through Chariot or any other manufacturer because we're videotaping. They have Skyline, Skyhawk, and Chariot here. So you can contact her. She can get you in touch with the right people to get the home where you want. But always check your local regulations, okay? Now, look at this beautiful flooring. It looks like a marble almost, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It is beautiful. This thing is light and airy. Now, you got the gray walls, the beautiful marble look floor. You have solid surface, whoops, solid surface countertops. This is, what is this? Corian. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is beautiful. Nice white. But they contrast it with these nice dark cabinets. It's not a bad look. But just think, if you like it lighter, you could get white cabinets if you want it. But look, everything's soft clothes. You've got a beautiful tile black backslash here. Get your GFCI and your lever outlets and switches. And you've got a nice farmhouse sink with your built-in sprayer into your faucet. You've got plenty of storage space. You do get a small dishwasher. What do you need a big one for? It's only you and the husband, or maybe it's just you. Or maybe it's just, you know, you and the wife. But you've got all this nice room they don't have the the uh oven in here yet but that's a full size oven ge microwave above means it comes with it yeah it comes with it you've got the soft closed drawers boop look at that mm -hmm. over here they don't have the refrigerator in yet but it comes with it they i saw them over in the office and you get your pantry space here and your cabinet above now i'm gonna go ahead and give you one of the little surprises about this home Besides looking at all the transom lights and all the uh, the sliding glass door, I'm gonna show you this surprise. Look, come right around here. Nice little coffee bar. If you like that coffee in the morning and can't live without it, got plenty of extra cabinets, storage, and a place for your coffee. What are you gonna do with all this storage? You don't drink that much coffee? Put your toaster in there. Get it off the counter. Put your mixer in there. Nobody right. wants to Right, you want to do your crock pot? Just set it right there yeah. out of the sight of everyone. And after right. it's washed, stick it in there. Get it off the counter. Right. Get you more counter space. Not like you didn't need it, but there's plenty of counter space. You got a bar there that seats three people. You don't need a big dining room. Four. Yeah, you got a fourth place at the end. Nice overhang. So get all that junk, all them appliances off of the counter when you ain't using them. You don't use your toaster all day. Why you got it on the counter all day? 
Look at the size of TV that could fit over there on that oh, wall. Yeah, we didn't yeah, say you that. Could put a nine whoa. Inch TV on that. If you're a TV junkie like we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. YouTube junkie watching us. You right? want to see me live in person, big Mr. Chubby? Woo! Yeah. We want to see Vivian big, don't we? I like watching my own videos. <laughs> right here is your space for your stackable washer and dryer with the bifold louver door off to the my left Tammy's right now they don't have a chair height in here but you can get that okay and you got yeah it looks so puny when you're standing I there know. I, I don't I'm know I'm short and it's below my knees but you have it I'm going to let her come in and just give you a tour you got standard shower with the tile it's beautiful you got extra cabinets. Like I told you, these are made to live in. You've got a medicine cabinet. You've got tons of space around that vanity. You've got drawers and doors under your vanity. And you've got plenty of counter space with that vanity where you can set all your doodads and your knickknacks and your good smelling stuff. Or if you just need to put your vitamins and your medicine somewhere, Set it on the counter until the grandkids come over. Then you got to put it up in that medicine cabinet so they can't reach it. You don't want them taking your Ambien or your uh, <clears throat> Geritol. Your Geritol. <laughs> you need to put it up. So keep it up there in that medicine cabinet. Out of the way of the grandkids. When they come to Florida for a visit. And as always, they put the nice moldings. Crown molding in the ceiling, all the moldings around the top of the cabinets. This is a chariot home. It is a brand new one they just got in. 2024, it's got the knockdown drywall. Got your rounded edge, not the real sharp edge, so the grandkid walks into it by accident. And the first time we've ever skull. seen these floors. Oh yeah, this is, I and love And it gives them the, uh, like a contemporary detail in here. And don't get me wrong, I always put titles that says, our favorite tiny house so far. This almost is our and favorite And even the clock paint, clock. the light gray that goes with it, the floor, that it's just, it. T look at the, the color of the floor and how it ties into the paint. That's just neat. You know? That's great. Sorry, people, you're seeing our feet. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just looking. Anyway. All right, come on back. You have a nice full-size door there 200 amp service hidden behind this don't show that that's a secret that's a secret don't show them that unless come they've on. seen the previous videos come on come, well, come on into the bedroom well he said oh no not these these mirrors again you got the mirrored doors his and her two drawers underneath i guess they they could have put mirrors on the ceiling so i'm glad i'm thankful they didn't do that yeah these nice upgraded ceiling fans contemporary looking you got your cabinets above and a, and a ledge above. You can put plants, you can put books, you can put whatever you want above. You've got those movable nightstands, plenty of room. Because you get that extra 100 square foot in these Florida park models, you've got plenty of room to put a California king size bed, okay? You're getting a lot of that extra space in this master bedroom. Why are we so excited about it? We live in Alabama. You can put anything in Alabama and live in it, okay? So we could put one of these in there. Now your local restrictions may differ. So you gotta find out, can I put a 499 square foot RV park model? Cause these ain't those 399 you see everywhere else. You got a nice bank of cabinets here. You could put a little small uh, radio, uh, whatever you want, or just decorate it pretty like this. Plenty of storage underneath here. There's four doors. Your books, your, your Bibles. Books, your Bibles. Anything you want. Just, I mean, iPad. three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 12, 13, 14, 15 drawers in this place. You got one, two, three, four, five, six storage cabinets. And you got a shelf here for your television. Two closets, his and hers. And like I said, you got five drawers here. So mama gets four, dad gets one, maybe, if he's lucky. Um, but anyway, just love the layout. You got two nice windows in this one and i know you're going to say oh it's so dark that dark cabinets but we're back here this home is slid in underneath some palm trees and right up next to a permanent building so we're not getting the benefit of the sunlight in here okay 
So that's what's kind of making it a little bit. That better. window is a slider. Look how large that slider yeah, is. Right over this window. Huge. It's kind of neat. Right above your bed. Right above your bed. Huge, huge. Now, let's get to the surprises, okay? We got two surprises for you. Number one, people have asked me, what about ventilation? What about ventilation? I don't want to be so stuffy in there. <laughs> Think. Whole house ventilation. Think. Open the doors, crack open the windows, and you're going to have, just like the old-timey louvered fans in your ceiling, your attic fan type thing. You turn on and it goes, Ooh, and it sucks the whole house. I wish it was on now. Yeah, no kidding. It's warm in here. Second surprise. Not only do these homes come with your appliance package, which some of them are missing right now, because they haven't put them in yet. Not only do you get the appliance package, you get the furniture package with the price, okay? Here at Winter Haven RV. Bing. Hmm, Bing. They can't see that. Uh, Winter Haven RV includes this furniture package. So you're gonna get these bar stools, this couch, this recliner, and you're gonna get your bed in the back. All of this amazing beauty, new 2024 model, Corian countertops, Guess what the price is? Are you guessing? Are you guessing? 499 square foot home, okay? Don't get your, your panties in a wad, okay? It is only $112,000. Oh, that's so expensive. 500 square feet, okay? We have toured 399 square feet homes that are 112, 108, 109. Clayton homes, 107, 108, $112,000. This is a Chariot Eagle. We toured the factory. Go watch the video. Check in with uh, Orlando Merced. We've been to their factory. They make these homes beautiful. Amazing. All these features you get for that price, $112,000. I know it's kind of pricey. Let's say you've got a big house, a 4,000 square foot house. You don't want to live in it anymore. All your kids have moved out. Nobody's staying with you. You and the husband, you're sealing off rooms and living off a little space heater or one of those little Arctic cools you bought at Walmart that try, try to stay cool <laughs> in the summertime. Does it does really work. Because you can't, cause you, cause you can't afford the electricity bill. You want to live in something that your electricity bill is 60, 70 bucks a month, 500 square Maybe feet. even less. Maybe le less than that. This is the place to be. These park models. Sell that huge house. Cash out that equity. Pay cash for one of these. Find your place to put it, and you're good to go. Now, if you like this content, Pasco Paul and Tampa Tammy, we've been giving you while we're here in Florida. Mr. Chubby, like, share, subscribe. Be sure to go back to our channel or click the next video in, in the list. But we got lots of videos from here at Winter Haven RV because they sell Chariot, they sell Skyline, and they sell Skyhawk. And we're just taking video after video. We're going to put one home per video. And you guys always hang in there to the end. Wait for that price. Wait for the surprises. And we'll see you in the next house. Take care.